My name is Jim Johnson, and I don't really need shades. Moving from middle of nowhere Ohio to the City of Angels wasn't the easiest choice to make, but after I saw the price tag on my family owned business, it suddenly became easy. Hello? They're going to lay everyone off. No, they're not. That's not a part of the agreement. They have the contract? They are going to sign it today, and it clearly says that the employee contract will be discontinued. How could you do this? This is so irresponsible. Our parents gave you this so you could take care of it, not sell it the second you got. That's Jenny, my little sister. She's not too happy about selling the family business. To fully understand this situation, we are going to need to go back 24 hours. It's 4.5 million, you know. Safe. So, how about we settle this over dinner? Dovremmo organizzare una riunione con i restauri rappresentanti. Diciamo giovedì pomeriggio? I don't follow. Um, I will set, um, how do you say, um, date? Sounds like a plan. Se firma il contratto tutto... In hindsight, my four years of Japanese didn't translate well into my Italian business exchange. A while back, some of my college buddies told me about this corporation buying out small businesses for at least 400% market price. The corporation in question is an Italian big box mart chain, seeing if anti-monopoly laws apply to international agreements. Yeah, I only cared enough to learn what that means. I'm looking for a Buck Gornstein. Now you can always be called a buck stops here. Can I see him? You might have a challenge doing that. Well, where is he? Not cool, man. Not cool. <laughs> buck. Richest guy I know? Totally insane. Totally being manhandled by his secretary. So, is he always like that? My fiance does not find these kind of conversations entertaining. Fiance? That means marriage. And marriage means best man. Best man? Best man. Best man. I don't like him. By signing this document, you give the new parent company the option to eliminate any or all employees if deemed necessary. Alright, I'll sign it. But I got another meeting I need to be dragged to. And I have a date with a French model tonight. Mm. And uh, I'll get the, uh, the bachelor party set for you. Honestly, the idea of being the best man to the 18th richest man on the West Coast kept me from noticing that I was just screwing everyone I know. Betty Gonzalez, owner of the largest Tabasco sauce chain west of the Colorado. Don't know how she ended up in this deal, but I needed her sign off to finish it. Let's make this quick. We need to discuss the deal about the employees. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. I just need you to sign the contract so I can sell the dump that my parents left me after I graduated from Stanford. Well... With top honors. The other investors sent me to talk to you for a reason. You went into this deal wanting your employees to keep their jobs. Yes. Well, the contract you're about to sign more or less gives the parent company complete rights to fire anyone and everyone as they please. It's just a formality. You went into this wanting your employees to keep your jobs. So why are you willing to take this risk? What risk? I sign the paper, I get $4.5 million, and I don't even need to care about the employees. Well, if you keep thinking like that, they're going to become your problem. You sound like my sister. Really? I wasn't listening to her. It was questioning my choice to sell the company that caused me to flip the emotional tape. 
Really? If my head wasn't so in the clouds, I might actually have reconsidered what she was saying. Thinking of the employees before my bank account and all. The money was too good. This is where we left off. Thanks, sis. Yeah, it wasn't until the phone call that I realized that I just spent the last eight hours ruining the lives of all my friends and family. Contract! Cosa! I don't speak Russian! Give it to me. And Buck? Yeah? Grow up. You flew all the way out here? Yes. So I could do this. I deserve that. You deserve worse. I fixed it. Fixed what? Still in Ohio. That's... <laughs> My future is so bright, I gotta wear shades.